Mr. Gannon. Stop talking like a tough guy for five minutes and listen to what I've got to say. For what? Listen, man? it's different this time. I've got proof. There's been a swindle. Hey! Edward, you were looking that way. Did Luke stab him? Yes. Didn't Rooney call him a swindler? Well, I think so. What's going on here? No. Oh, Let us through. Oh, oh, yes. Ruby, just get in from there. Do you want me to call Lars? Come on along tomorrow night when last year's hottest new show, Joni Loves Chachi, returns at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Then, meet two occult investigators in a comedy special. They're scared silly right after the return of Joni Loves Chachi. Tomorrow. This is David Hartman. Tomorrow reports from the Middle East, plus Julia Child, Morris Gibb, and Donna Summer. Friday, Joan Collins on Good Morning America. Spencer and Raven join forces to destroy Sky on the edge of night following FYI next. The People's Court, today at 4.30. Considering the fact that he left millions in bank deposits and stocks and bonds and real estate and various corporations, we have to assume what he hid was especially valuable, Raven. That's just what I thought. Have you found the repository? Yes, we have, but... Well, the thing is, Raven, it's not doing you any good because we have the key you need. And vice versa. Exactly. It's a stalemate. Good. Nothing gives me more pleasure than to make your boss suffer. Mr. Whitney is hardly suffering, Raven. He has the Whitney fortune. You have nothing. But I'm willing to make a deal. Oh, I bet you are. You can have half of whatever the value is of the contents of that box if you let us use your key. Half? Yes. How do I know you're telling the truth? You have my promise. Okay. Where's your key? Where's yours? Mine is in my pocket, which means we can go to the bank right now. Let's go. Scholar, I don't want you to be overly optimistic about all of this. I really don't think April Scott wants to sell her station to just anyone. But I'm not just anyone, Geraldine. I'm your nephew. And since she was interested in your purchasing the station, which I won't do. Well, the next best thing be if I were to buy it. Keep it all in the family, so to speak. Well, all I can do is tell her that you're interested. That's all I ask. And if you could possibly manage to put in a kind word for me, uh, if you can think of any, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll do my best. Ah, Spencer, where have you been? I'm sorry I deserted you, Scarlet, but I was taking care of some business. I'm afraid some of it needs further attention. Well, do you have any order lunch yet? Well, I know, but I've uh, found the solution to our problem concerning this. I assumed you'd like me to take care of it immediately. Oh, yes, yes, by all means. Do, do. Oh, well, I will. Goodbye, Mrs. Saxon. Spencer. Secrets, Skylar? Uh, I don't like secrets any more than you do, Geraldine, but uh, perhaps this is one I'll unlock today. Edge of Night is brought to you by Zest, the deodorant bar that leaves no sticky soap film so you feel really clean. And by Tide, the extra action in Tide means dirt can't hide. How far does a mom have to go to see your kids clean? All the way to Tide Country! Where a toughest test of clean is below the age of 10 and the same clothes get dirty over and over again. My extra action kid needs an extra action Tide. Kids can be tough, tough all around. Even Pink and Sweet has trouble keeping neat, so go ahead and splat them. Splotch them, splash them, splatter them. Claim your spot, Tide, get some clean. Tide's action-packed, one tough clean. And if it'll clean these kids' clothes, it'll clean most anything. Here's your joy and pride. Same kids, same clothes, spanking clean with Tide. An extra action kid needs an extra action Tide. Tide country! Claim your spot, Tide, get some clean. Hey, Bobcats, bet you can feel cleaner without soap. Feel cleaner? Come on, man. Without soap? When you discover the cleaner feeling of zest, you're gonna say no to your soap. 
zest ladders up pretty good. Smells good, too. Hey, doesn't mean we'll feel cleaner. Yeah. Okay, you've got soap on one arm. Put deodorant zest on the other. Check out these bubbles. Now rinse. The guy's soap feels tacky. Zest rinses cleaner. Feels cleaner. All right. Discover the cleaner feeling of zest. You're gonna say no to your soap. And yes, to zest. Get out of here. The truth is, Mr. Foley, that virtually every question you asked is answered in that material. You could have saved yourself some uh, time. Well, I hope I haven't taken up too much of your time, Mrs. Carr. No, 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 no. Of course not. Now, you say these are your complete and original notes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they are. I know it does seem to be a bit long, but I usually have to gather twice as much information as that which is put into print. Uh, I understand, but you haven't left out anything important. Well, I certainly hope not. I, uh... Just left out those things I didn't think were interesting or uh, relevant to the story. Well, what interests me may be not relevant. Oh. Well, you will see that I wasn't able to get too far with um, Jefferson Brown's life before he went to Switzerland. Well, that's just the problem for us. We don't know enough about Mr. Brown. But you must have a file on him. I mean, he was in a very a sensitive governmental agency. Surely he was checked out thoroughly. Well, yes, sir. He did have a full and complete security clearance, but then so did Fowler Wilcox, his employer, the man we believed had taken the missing documents. Yeah. Are you going to talk to his son, Damien Tyler? Well, he is on my list, but uh, I understand from Chief Mallory that he's been injured recently. Yes, but it isn't serious, fortunately, but he isn't able to talk. That isn't going to make your job too easy. My job has never been easy, Mrs. Carr. Yeah, I imagine it isn't. Well, it gets to be a lot more palatable when I meet someone like you. <laughs> yes, he yeah. Oh, Mr. Foley, am I interrupting? Well, we meet again, Miss Bryson. That's right, you two know each other. Oh, yes, yeah. Miss Bryson was the first person I talked to in Monticello. She and her friend, what's his name? Jim Dietrichson. Yes. Well, as you can see, I took your advice to come and see the lady that wrote that complete line of stories for the news. And I'm very glad that I did. Well, good. Well, I can see I'm probably keeping you two from an enjoyable lunch, so I'll be on my way. Thank you again, and I'll get these back to you just as soon as I can. No rush. Miss Bryson? Bye. Goodbye. Oh, that was unexpected. Was he giving you the third degree? Yeah. Yeah, he was. One thing about Mr. Foley, he takes a great deal more than he gives. We'll wait to order, Sid. Cliff and Dee Dee are joining us if they get out of court in time. Oh, you two need some legal advice? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not really sure. What does that mean? Well, Jody's the one who arranged this lunch date. She still hasn't told me why. They're our friends, aren't they? Why shouldn't we have lunch with them? Oh, you heard the lady, Sid. It's just a friendly lunch. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll bring you a couple of more play settings. Come on, Jody. What's it all about? You asked those two for a reason. I'm sure you did. Why does everything have to have a reason? Because you made such a fuss about it, calling them downtown, practically yanking them out of the I courthouse. I did not. I simply called the number they left on the answering service. You know what I think it is? I think you're afraid to have lunch alone with me. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, I know you. When you have something to tell me that you don't think I'll like, you make sure that there are other people around. Well, um, all right, I, I guess that was my reason. Okay, you can tell me now. What's going on? I'm going, Gavin. What? Well, I'm, I'm going to the Eden Tricentennial pageant at Raleigh Castle. Oh, no. I'm also going with Chad Sutherland because that's the only possible way for me to get into this place. They're very, very stingy about the invitations. I knew I shouldn't have asked. Jody, do, do you mean you're actually going to go through with this one-woman crusade of yours? Gavin, it is no use forbidding me. It's not going to do you any good. Hey, are you kidding? Me forbid you to do something? I wouldn't be that stupid. In fact, uh, I was going to say fine. Wonderful. I think you should do it. What did you say? You heard me. I think you should go. You'd hate yourself if you didn't. It's okay. Go with my blessing. Under one condition. Ah. Uh. Which is? That I go with you, of course. No, that's not possible. If Chad can wangle one invitation, he can dig up two. We'll go over to the studio after lunch and talk to him. I have talked to him. And he said that the invitation is for me only. 
My dear Madame Caveron, you are even lovelier in person than you are on the television screen. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Renault. Oh, go see it. Thank I you. was so delighted when you called. You see, as a public relation officer for my country, the Republic of Eden, I am somewhat of a media person myself. I was enchanted when I had an opportunity to meet a, a real media celebrity. Well, thank you. Um, public relations is exactly what I've come to discuss with you today. Oh, of course, though. A public relation officer for a nation is not the same as, a, let us say, a brand of toothpaste or a, a movie star. Oh, yes. Well, of course, I understand that. Nevertheless, you are staging a very important event this weekend at the Raleigh Castle. One that I'm sure you will consider a media event in the fullest sense of the word? Oh, yes. We want very much and expect a full press coverage. Unfortunately, it does not include your very admirable news program on WMON. Oh, really? Well, you are televising this all the way back in your homeland by satellite, aren't you? Exactly. To our own country, to our own people. To those whom the 300th birthday of Eden has some significance. And those over there who have made the decision have decided in their wisdom that, uh, well, that would be the full extent of the press coverage. Oh, I am so sorry. Well, I must say I'm a bit baffled by that. I hope you understand my point of view when I say that I don't think that's the best decision. Um... But I am sure that it's going to be a very exciting weekend. Oh, yes, we will provide some kind of divertimento amusement for the guests, but the real reason for the pageant is a serious one. A reminder of our great heritage. Yes, uh, well... You know, that really is a shame, because my sister is going, you know. She's going as the guest of Chad Sutherland, who is the son of your country's president. Did you know that? Well, no, I did not. Well, I am so very happy for her. You may rest assured, Madame Kavanaugh, that I will give her your very best when I see her at the castle. I've raised six generations of top-winning Alaskan Malamutes on Calcan. Sheila Balch, top breeder of champion Alaskan Malamutes. Calcan starts with rich red meat. High-quality meat that's protein-rich for strong muscles. Then they add vitamins for sharp eyes, calcium for strong bones and teeth, and whole leg for a shiny coat. It keeps my dogs at their absolute best. Here's the proof. I recommend Calcan. Calcan, recommended by top breeders to help make your dog top breeder healthy. When my mom came from Kansas to see her new grandchild, we were so proud. But that night... Lynn... With all the travel, I'm sort of constipated. And I forgot to pack our family friend. <laughs> Ta-da! X-Lax. I knew you'd have it. Like mother, like daughter. Families that grew up with X-Lax like to stay with it. It's easy to take and works so gently overnight. In this house, it's always X-Lax. Same as at home. Chocolate at X-Lax. Make it your family friend. Tender is a good plea. I think that why is one plea guilty? Cliff, I don't see where that's going to make any difference in the outcome of the case. You're probably right, but I don't want to spend the next six months. Hey, with... hey, hey, you two. Save your arguing for the courtroom, okay? Sorry, sir. Okay. You got two hungry friends sitting over there waiting for you. Thanks. Well, 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 they certainly do look hungry, don't they? Hmm. Think we ought to take a chance and sit down? I don't know. They look pretty ferocious. Don't worry, we won't bite. Why don't you bite into a roast beef sandwich instead, huh? Oh, I don't have any roast beef today, but. How about a nice steak sandwich? That's a special. Oh, hey, terrific. Great buy-in. Uh, yeah, me too, Sid. Just coffee for me. My appetite is gone. So is mine. Well, this is serious. You're on a hunger strike. Uh, Sid, why don't you bring ours, and maybe they'll get tempted. <clears throat> Smart thinking. Well, hey, hey, don't stop fighting just because we sat down. We weren't fighting. The fighting's all over. I was knocked out in the first round. Well, we're just going to see the instant replay, huh? <laughs> Uh, okay, what's up, you two? Look, Dee Dee, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe you and Cliff would be better off having lunch alone. This way you could talk about the law without fighting. Hey, we love to fight. It's our favorite pastime, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Compulsory arbitration, all right? You go first. All right, it's very simple, Counselor. My girlfriend just told me that she's going away for the weekend with another guy. I did not. Well, then what did you say, Jody? All I said was that I was going to a pageant at Raleigh Castle as the guest of Chad Sutherland. Oh, I, I think you have a very good case, Gavin. Uh oh, wait a second. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's not as though you have any romantic involvement. Is that right, Jody? 
Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, the only reason I'm... Uh, well, it's the only way I can get to this pageant is to go with Chad. I see. She has opportunity, but does she have motive? I mean, what's the purpose of going to this pageant? It doesn't matter, and I'm still going. You realize, of course, that your silence makes you appear very guilty. Or is this just a case of female stubbornness? Well, I, I object. Overruled. You can't do that. You're a lawyer, not a judge. Oh, I forgot. Well, uh, in my opinion as a lawyer, uh, I think that uh, Jody's accents in this case show a, a strong uh, lack of faith in this situation, and I don't think that she should uh, jeopardize a long-term relationship just for some stupid pageant that has no significance at all. Wait a second. It does have significance. What is the significance? A long time ago, my family came from Eden. <laughs> Jody, biblically speaking, we all came from Eden. <laughs> Cliff, do you mind? I just found that out recently, and I thought if I went to this pageant, it would be a good way for me to find out about my heritage. And you could risk being kidnapped again. What was that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is serious. Is that what you're afraid of? Yes. The crazy radicals thought that she was... She was somebody else. Someone from Eden. And if she goes there, she's going to be sticking her head back in the lion's mouth. And that's why I'm worried. It's not Chad Sutherland. Hey, Dee. Troy, hi. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, no, you're not. As a matter of fact, this will give you a chance to meet some of my friends. You already know Cliff. Yeah, how's it going, Counselor? <sighs> no contendery. Uh, this is, uh, Gavin Wiley. Troy? Uh, Jody Travis. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the last name. Travis. Jody Travis. <sighs> yeah, look, Dee Dee, can I, um, talk with you privately just a minute, please? Sure. This is important, Dee Dee. This is important, too, Cliff. Excuse me, you two. Sure. Look, Troy, if you want to borrow money... Look, Dee Dee, I... it's nothing like that. I just wanted to ask you about that girl at your table. <laughs> Jody, what about her? She doesn't have any, um, connections with Lorimer, does she? Of course not. She wouldn't even know somebody like Eddie Lorimer, and I wish you didn't either. Look, are you sure about that? Yes, I am sure. Now, why do you ask? Well, I mean, you, you never can tell about people. I mean, she looks like uh, a cute, innocent kid, but, but look, look, maybe she may be leading a double life or something. Troy, Jody was one of the first people I met when I came to Monticello. And there is not a nicer, sweeter person in town. Yeah. Look, if you say so. One of these joggers is not 24. She's the five with three kids. Eileen Wesson. Can you tell who's who? Eileen looks 24. How about their hands? Look closely. They look young, too. My hands deserve as much attention as the rest of me. That's why I use Ivory Liquid. Just the name Ivory means mildness to me. And I think the rich, mild suds do help my hands stay young looking, even with all the dishes I do. Still can't tell who's Eileen? Yes, I'm the 35-year-old. Jogging helps keep me young. And what helps your hands look so young? Ivory liquid. The mildness really makes a difference. Mild ivory liquid helps hands look young. If all we had to clean was one little spot of greasy dirt, most cleaners full strength would do. But greasy dirt gets everywhere. So I clean by the bucket with Top Job. Well, now there's something better. Are you kidding? I've tried ammonia and the leading pines. But when you clean by the bucket like I do, Top Job cleans the toughest, greasy dirt better. Now there's something better. New Top Job. What's new? How much better it dissolves greasy dirt, even mixed with water. New Top Job breaks up greasy dirt faster. And faster means new Top Job cleans better. So now when you clean the toughest, greasy dirt by the bucket, Switch from pines or ammonia to new top job. Now its cleaning power holds up even better underwater. Oh, no, I completely forgot that you were coming home for lunch. Well, you shouldn't have forgotten about it completely. There's plenty of food in the refrigerator. Oh, but you shouldn't have had oh, to fix that by dear. yourself. I'm so I'm not... sorry. Well, it's all right. Don't you worry about it. Not that difficult to make a sandwich, see? Look how nice that is. Very good, too. It looks delicious. It is delicious. Well, there, you've just proved it. I'm dispensable. No way in the world. Man does not live by bread alone, not even two slices of bread with a little egg salad and a pickle in the middle. Well, something tells me you haven't had a good morning. It was awful. 
Well, I know exactly what happened. You struck out with Mr. Ronaldo, didn't you? Struck out? I didn't even get up to bat. He wouldn't even listen to my suggestions for televising it locally. He only was concerned with his private plans for doing it. Well, I kind of expected that to happen. After all, if he'd wanted press coverage, he would have made overtures to you, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, he said that we might get some footage after it was all over. Edited by them, of course. I tried to explain to him how live coverage was important to make it a real news event. You didn't go for it? No. No. You see, it's obvious they're planning to keep very strict control over this celebration, especially with it being seen by everybody back in Eden. Which made me all the more nervous for Jody. Oh, Miles, I am just sick about this. Well, don't be sick. Come on, don't be sick. We haven't lost the war, just a little battle. Now, maybe we can find another way. I know, but I'm going to go absolutely crazy if I have to stay here in this penthouse knowing that Jody is up there, possibly standing in front of a camera declaring that she is the great, great, great granddaughter of the martyr of Eden. We can't let her do that, Nicole. Too many people know the significance of that announcement. I know we can't let her do that. So, how are we going to keep her from going alone? Well, she won't be alone. Chad will be with her. Chad? Chad is her enemy. Well, not literally, but you know he's not going to be on her side, not this time. What are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is calm down. Second thing you're going to do is eat a sandwich. See, I made two of them, and they are delicious. Right, I am not interested in no, eating. I don't even see how you can eat it. Well, it's a very good thing to do to eat a sandwich. It calms you down. It's a very quiet, contemplative thing. Here, you much away while I tell you how old Doc Cavanaugh might have come up with a way to get us to the pageant. Maybe. What do you mean? Well, I've been thinking about this all morning. I was wondering what Mr. Ronaldo's reaction to your offer would be, and I thought if he refused, that would be even further proof that the government of Eden is scared to death of publicity. I agree with you, they are. That's because I think they're corrupt, just like everybody's been telling us. Well, then maybe we can use their own fear against them. You still have that television script? The documentary on Eden? Yes, it's sitting right there. Maybe this can be our ticket to the pageant. You know something, Scarla? On second thought, I'm not at all certain that I want you to buy WMON. Why not? <laughs> because I really don't think I want you as an employer. I promise to be fair, kind, and generous. Well, well, two more beautiful women. This place is going to get a reputation for it. I'll be right with you. Nancy, I don't think the government actually knows who stole those documents. I mean, Mr. Foley seems a lot more interested in Jefferson Brown than Fowler Wilcox. Mm-hmm. Which bears out what Damien has been alleging for months, that his father was innocent. It was Jefferson Brown who was the thief. into the vault and get the box ourselves. It's not the way it's done, Raven. The bank officer will be bringing it into the room soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wish you would hurry. The suspense is killing me. It won't take long, I'm sure. Here it is. <clears throat> just uh, buzz when you're ready to leave. Thank you very much. We'll open it! Would you care to do the honors? I Right. It's just a stupid book. It's not a book, Raven. It's a diary. There's too much fat in their budget. Yeah. There's too much fat in their program. Yeah. And too much fat in that sandwich. Huh? Your lunch meats could be almost one-third fat. You're kidding. Try some lean cold cuts from Lewis Rich. Mm. Lean turkey breast and ham. They're both 95% lean because they're made from the naturally lean meat, turkey. Delicious! <laughs> we ought to tell them about Lewis Rich downtown. <laughs> you get less fat and more lean from Lewis Rich. Being on the boat all day sure makes me thirsty. So I'm reaching for this. New Improved Nest Tea Iced Tea Mix. Nest Tea's as natural as all outdoors. You can tell it's no ordinary mix. Just look at that rich color. Tastes as clear as sunshine, too. Because now Nest Tea slow bruises tea. 
then adds just the right blend of lemon and sugar for natural sunny taste. Oh. New slow brewed Nest Tea iced tea mix. There's nothing like it under the sun. On Ryan's Hope. I mean, I see you again. What are you saying? There's a contract out of my life because I shot that man in the hotel. Joe, this is incredibly dangerous for you. Ryan's Hope. Weekdays. I don't believe this. It's, it's, it's a stupid diary. It's probably not worth 50 cents. Yeah, I see it. Uh, there's nothing in it, hardly anything in it. I can't even understand what they're saying. This is horrible. From 1980. The only entries are from March. June. BQ3. NB. NK5. It doesn't make any sense to me, but it probably did to him. Well, of course it doesn't make any sense. You cheated me, Spencer. We made a bargain, Raven. Yeah, you told me there was something valuable in there, and I could have half of I it. I told you you could have half of whatever we found in the box. Would you like me to rip this? I apologize, Raven. Uh, this is a memento from your late husband. You should keep it. <sighs> Thanks. Alexander. Uh, Mr. Fowling, hi. Uh, Mr. Fowling, right? That's right. Uh, would you do me a favor? Could you get me a taxi? Oh, actually, it won't be necessary for you to take a taxi. My car is parked just down the street. Well, how nice of you. I'm afraid you don't understand, Miss Alexander. I'm placing you under arrest. <laughs> I have a warrant for your arrest on a charge of conspiracy to commit treason. Since 1974, chicken is up 24%. That's for the birds. Fish, 84%. That's a lot of clams. Hamburgers, 64%. Ooh, In today's economy, you need the strength of Ziploc freezer bags. With their unique seal, Ziploc freezer bags are a zip to lock, and they stay locked for the best protection against freezer burn. Pork chops are up 36 percent. You believe they're pork chops? Ziploc freezer bags. There's no better way to protect your investment. All cats are wild for meat. All cats. So Frisky's Buffet just made three new meat dinners. New beef stew, new liver entree, new prime entree. Doesn't that look meaty and delicious? Back, boy. Back. And they taste ferociously good. Easy. Give the king of your jungle new Frisky's Buffet meat dinners for cats. Frisky's Buffet, one of the great things about being a cat. Love. 